In this video we're going to talk about the European Union, which comprises 28 member states. It has an area of more than 4 million kilometers and an estimated population of over 500 million people. Do you want to learn more about its countries? Okay, let's see which countries we're talking about first. Number 1. Austria Austria is one of the richest countries in the world, located in the center of Europe. It is one of the cleanest countries. About 75% of the territory is occupied by the Eastern Alps. Tourism accounts for almost 9% of the gross domestic product. Spectacular mountain scenery and villages. World-class ski resorts. Baroque city architecture and imperial history. The majority of the population speak Bavarian dialects of German as their native language. Belgium Belgium is a country in Western Europe known for its medieval old towns, Flemish Renaissance architecture and international headquarters of the European Union and NATO. There has also been a growing divide between the mainly Dutch-speaking North and the mainly French-speaking South, as well as concerns about the growth of Islamic extremism among immigrant communities in the capital, Brussels, according to BBC. Bulgaria Bulgaria has been undergoing a slow and painful transition to a market economy since the end of the communist rule. It has a diverse terrain, encompassing Black Sea coastline, rivers including the Danube, and a mountainous interior. The capital is Sofia. Tourism is the most significant contributor to the economic growth. In recent years, Bulgaria has emerged as a traveling destination with its inexpensive resorts and excellent beaches. Great Britain The birthplace of Shakespeare and the Beatles. Great Britain today is the second largest economy in Europe after Germany. The capital, London, is a globally influential center of finance and culture. When it comes to Nobel Prize winners, the UK comes the second in the world right after the US. The main industrial sectors are automotive, aviation and pharmaceutical. In 2016, the country voted in a referendum to leave the European Union. Hungary Hungary is a landlocked country in Central Europe. Its capital, Budapest, is bisected by the Danube River and famed for its dramatic cityscape. Hungary is famous for its thermal waters and is one of the most famous thermal treatment centers in Europe. Hungary mainly exports engineering products, agriculture and electronics. Today Hungary has a high-income export-oriented market economy. Germany. Germany is the largest economy in Europe, as well as the most industrialized and populous European country. Famed for its beer festivals, technological achievements, car industry and the highway system, the Autobahn, it is the world's third largest exporter. Germany wants to meet its electricity demands using 40% renewable sources by 2020. Germany is the seventh most visited country in the world. Greece. Greece is strategically located at the crossroads of Europe, Asia and Africa and often called the birthplace of Western civilization. The shipping industry is a key element of Greek economy activity dating back to ancient times. An important percentage of Greeks' national income comes from tourism, which funds 16% of the gross domestic product. Greece is known for its wonderful beaches, crystal clear waters. Denmark. Danes enjoy a high standard of living and the country ranks highly in education, health care and has one of the world's highest per capita incomes. Once a predominantly agricultural country on account of its arable landscape, since 1945 Denmark has greatly expanded its industrial base so that by 2006 industrial sector contributed about 25% of GDP and agriculture less than 2%. Denmark is a leading producer of pork in the EU. Ireland. Its capital, Dublin, is the birthplace of writers like Oscar Wilde and home of Guinness beer. Nicknamed the Emerald Isle for its lush landscape of rolling green hills, it's dotted with castles and ancient sites. The Irish economy has transformed since the 1980s from being predominantly agricultural to a modern knowledge economy focused on high technology industries and services. In 2013, Ireland was named the best country for business by Forbes. Spain. Spain occupies most of the Iberian Peninsula and the Canary and Balearic Island. More than 260 sunny days a year, one of the largest centers of international tourism. In 2015, the country was visited by 70 million tourists who spent around 60 billion euros. Most popular destinations are Madrid and Barcelona, as well as the islands of Ibiza and Mallorca. Important sectors of the economy are agriculture, automotive and shipbuilding industries. Italy. Italy is the third largest economy of the Eurozone, a European country with a long Mediterranean coastline that has left a powerful mark on Western culture and cuisine. Its capital, Rome, is home to the Vatican, as well as landmark art and ancient ruins. Other major cities include Florence, Venice, that is a famous city of canals, and Milan, Italy's fashion capital. 
Cyprus. De facto, the island is divided. 60% of the island is controlled by the authorities of the Republic of Cyprus, populated by ethnic Greeks, and 38% by Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, which is recognized only by Turkey. Tourism provides 20% of the GDP. While the Greek sector of the economy is prospering, the Turkish sector is experiencing difficulties due to territorial uncertainty and, as a result, lack of investment. Latvia. For centuries, Latvia was primarily an agricultural country. In the decade after independence, Latvia made a rapid transformation to embrace the free market. More than a quarter of the population is Russian-speaking, and the rights of this section of society has been a thorny issue since independence. Latvia's capital is Riga, home to notable wooden and art architecture, a vast central market, and a medieval old town, Lithuania. Not much more than a decade after it regained its independence during the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1990, Lithuania was welcomed as a NATO member in late March 2004. The United Nations Human Development Index lists Lithuania as a very high human development country. Luxembourg 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 is a tiny state in Western Europe. The area is just 2,500 square kilometers. One of the richest countries in Europe, Luxembourg's prosperity was formerly based on steel manufacturing. With the decline of that industry, Luxembourg diversified and is now best known for its status as Europe's most powerful investment management center. Many of its inhabitants are trilingual in French, German, and Luxembourgish, a dialect of German. Malta. Malta is an island nation in the Mediterranean Sea, south of Sicily. Malta has been ranked in the top three position quality of life index in 2011. Published in International Living magazine, the main branch of the economy of Malta is tourism. Netherlands. The Netherlands is a country in northwestern Europe. With more than a quarter of its total area under sea level, it's known for its flat landscape of canals, tulip fields, windmills and cycling routes. The capital city Amsterdam is known for its museums and the red light district. The port of Rotterdam is the largest port in Europe. The Dutch rank second worldwide in the value of agricultural exports, with exports earning 80 billion euros in 2014. Poland. Poland is a country in Eastern Europe known for its medieval architecture and fine cuisine, a nation with a proud cultural heritage. Poland can trace its roots back over 1,000 years. One of the leading manufacturers of fishing boats, trains, cars, road and construction machines, Poland has made major economic strides since the fall of communism and especially since joining the EU. Portugal. Portugal is a country with a rich history of seafaring and discovery, looking out from the Iberian Peninsula into the Atlantic Ocean. The most important industries are textile, wine, olive oil, canned fish, cork processing and shipbuilding. Well-developed tourism. Approximately 13 million people visit Portugal each year. The Algovers beaches are a major destination. Romania. Romania is a southeastern European country known for its forested region of Transylvania, ringed by the Carpathian Mountains, long associated with the Dracula legend. Bucharest is the country's capital. Well-developed agriculture and tourism. Oddly enough, one of the largest sectors of the economy is oil production. Slovakia. Once part of Czechoslovakia, now Slovakia is a member of the Schengen area, NATO, the Eurozone and a member of the EU. Slovakia has a well-developed agriculture, great potential for development of tourism, beautiful nature, mountains, caves and ski resorts. In 2006, the country was visited by about 1.5 million tourists. The most populous destinations are Bratislava and the High Tatras Mountains. Slovenia. A small country with a population of just 2 million people in Central Europe, known for its mountains, dense forests, historic towns and ski resorts, the first of the former republics of Yugoslavia, which joined the EU. Today, one of the most successful and stable post-Yugoslav republics with a competitive manufacturing industry and strong exports. Finland. Finland is a northern European nation bordering Sweden and Russia, also home to the country's main ski resorts, Lapland province. The country invests heavily in education, training and research. Investment which bears fruit by delivering one of the best qualified workforces in the world. It has an export-oriented economy, first place in the world in the production of paper. Forests play a key role in the country's economy, making it one of the world's leading wood producers and providing raw materials at competitive prices for the crucial wood processing industries.
France. France is a country in Western Europe and encompasses medieval cities, alpine villages, and the Mediterranean beaches. Paris, its capital, is famed for its fashion houses, classical art museums, including the Louvre and the monuments like the Eiffel Tower. The country is also renowned for its wines and sophisticated cuisine. With 83 million foreign tourists per year, France is ranked as the most popular tourist destination in the world. There were numerous terrorist attacks in France that reflect some of the long-standing tensions concerning immigrants from former French colonies in North and Sub-Saharan Africa. France now has the largest Muslim population in Europe. Croatia, a country of striking natural beauty with a stunning Adriatic coastline, Croatia is a very popular tourist destination. It has more than a thousand islands. By 2003, it applied for EU membership, becoming the second former Yugoslav Republic after Slovenia to do so. Czech Republic Czech Republic is a country that's known for its castles, native beers and long history from the Germanic tribes to the communist era. It was formed as a result of the dissolution of Czechoslovakia and today it is one of the most advanced post-communist countries. Main industries include fuel energy and chemical industries, metallurgy, mechanical engineering and others. Sweden. Sweden is located in Scandinavia. The capital Stockholm is famous for royal palaces, parks and museums with a population of only 9 million. Sweden has more than 50 companies with worldwide reputation. Airplane, Scania, Volvo, Tele2, H&M and others. However, taxes are among the highest in the world. Estonia borders the Baltic Sea and the Gulf of Finland. Including more than 1,500 islands, its diverse terrain spans rocky beaches, old growth forests, booming electronics and telecommunications industry. Estonia has pursued the development of e-state and e-government. For example, internet voting is used in elections in Estonia. Now let's compare these European countries. Let's take a look at economy first, GDP per capita for 2015. According to International Monetary Fund, we have the following. As we can see, Luxembourg, Ireland, Netherlands, Sweden and Austria enjoy the highest GDP per capita. Good for them! At the bottom of the list you'll find Hungary, Latvia, Croatia, Romania and Bulgaria. Now, GDP per capita does not always mean that salaries are just as high. So let's see what's going on with salaries in these countries. We'll compare monthly salary after taxes. Highest salaries can be found in Luxembourg, Denmark, Sweden, Finland and Germany and the lowest are in Latvia, Lithuania, Hungary, Romania and Bulgaria. What about prices? Let's compare prices. For that we use the website Numbio which has a monthly cost of living index which is a relative indicator of consumer goods prices including groceries, restaurants, transportation and utility costs. If a city has a cost of living of 120 it means that Numbio estimates it to be 20% more expensive than New York which is 100%. As we can see the highest cost of living is in Denmark, Luxembourg, Ireland, Sweden and France and the most affordable living is in Hungary, Czech Republic, Poland, Bulgaria and Romania. Now everybody knows Americans have a car based society but what about Europe? Which countries have more automobiles per 1000 people? Let's see. It turns out that you'll find most cars per 1000 people in Malta, Luxembourg, Italy, Cyprus and Spain and the least amount of cars in Bulgaria, Slovakia, Lithuania, Hungary and Romania. Now having lots of cars is one thing but having great roads is another and it comes in handy. Let's see which countries have the best roads according to the Global Competitiveness Report from the World Economic Forum. Portugal, Netherlands, Austria, France and Finland come on top when it comes to road building quality. And Greece, Bulgaria, Latvia, Romania and Malta have to do a better job of building quality roads. Safety is an important issue and you probably agree with that. So which country is the safest? We will compare countries in terms of the number of homicides per 100,000 people per year. It turns out that the most dangerous countries in the European Union are Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Belgium and Bulgaria. And the safest are Slovenia, Spain, Luxembourg, the Netherlands and Austria. Now let's compare corruption and for that we'll use Corruption Perception Index from Transparency International. Looks like residents of Denmark, Finland, Sweden, Netherlands and Germany 
face the least amount of corruption. And people of Slovakia, Greece, Italy, Romania and Bulgaria have a hard time dealing with it. Are you curious which country consumes the most amount of alcohol in the European Union? Okay, let's take a look at the data from the World Health Organization and the number of liters of pure ethyl alcohol per person per year. Most drinkers can be found in Lithuania, Romania, Slovakia, Czech Republic and Portugal. And the least drinking countries are Cyprus, Austria, Sweden, Malta and strangely enough Italy. Let's find out in which countries the population is growing and where it's decreasing. Let's compare countries by natural population growth. So the maximum population growth has been recorded in Ireland, Cyprus, France, Luxembourg and the United Kingdom. And the maximum reduction in the population can be found in Germany, Estonia, Hungary, Latvia and Bulgaria. Well, this brings us to the end of the video. And if you have some comments, please share them under the video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.